thanks so much for being here. Congratulations. Oh, I heard you had a baby. I had a baby, yeah, just a well, couple not of you days didn't ago. Have a baby. I actually did it. I had the baby. <laughs> it's never been done before. You did. Uh, no, uh, we had a did baby. It hurt? Yeah, not that bad. Uh, we, it was a couple of days ago, uh, last Wednesday, uh, my wife gave birth to a boy, which is our first boy. So we were very excited. Yeah. Yeah. But now it's this whole new. I actually, it's great that you're on tonight because I don't know what I'm doing. And you actually have a, a little girl and a little boy. Yeah. And so you can help me out. Well, I don't know what I'm doing either, but. Really, really. Yeah. Are they, I mean, because. You don't thing, have to have a license. Apparently. You don't have to have a license. No. I, I clearly need <laughs> a license. Yeah. <laughs> One of the things they've warned me about is you've got to make sure that our daughter who doesn't get jealous. Yeah. So they told us all these things like give her presents and say it's from the baby boy Aww. who just showed up. But I think she knows something's up. She's right. like, how did he buy these? He doesn't have any money. Yeah, where did he go? But and he has a credit card. Yeah, exactly. There's all these weird things like that that you think, how is that going to, did you have to worry about that? Yeah, well, I think we did that too, and my daughter's pretty savvy. She's like, yeah, daddy told me that it came from Deacon, but I know he went and bought it himself. Right, She's right. She's very savvy, but there is like a big difference between boys and girls. It's just, they're so different. Like even tonight, I was just, I was leaving the hotel and my son, he has just a really quick temper and I said, I have to go to work and he went, mm, and he threw his truck at me and Ava goes, now Deacon, she goes, mommy has to go to work so she can make money, so she can pay the bills, so you can keep your pillow and your blanket. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> That's scary. I laughed so hard. She's incredible. She did it all while she was coloring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why she's got attitude also. I can do this and color at the same time. She didn't even look up. That is amazing. Uh, the other thing they, they told us about was, I mean, so far our boy is so mellow. He's just a baby, but our yeah. daughter was so kind of intense and the baby's like, goo goo, you know? <laughs> Like, he's gonna be he's like... here, he's chilling out. here, he's doing a good job, but uh, no, two is a whole new thing. And one thing the pediatrician told us to do is when you talk to uh, your daughter, come up with all these things that she can, so that she doesn't get jealous, say, you've got pants in your, you've got uh, pockets on your pants. Little uh, Beckett doesn't have that, because she's too little, like. <laughs> and I thought, it just sounds like we're taunting the new baby. <laughs> you can walk, but he can't, because he's too little. Like, <laughs> it just seems like a weird, there's, people overthink it, maybe. You know, you know somebody told me, like um, a director of a school or something, make sure you complain about the baby to the older child, like. His crying is really hurting my ears. Right. I really don't like it with the baby. Like, and I thought that was kind of weird and right. somewhat evil. Yeah. I really hate your brother. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you and I should just go hate your brother. Yeah, exactly. That's a good idea. You, you seem like you'd be a, a terrific mom. You're very together. You're a very well-organized person, I've read. Is that true? Is well, that fair to say? you know, I don't think I am. And then I have these moments where I'm just, you know, the, over the summer we went to visit Ryan's parents in um, Delaware, and they just got in this new house, and uh, everybody was kind of sleeping, and I was jet-lagged, so I woke up early, and I tiptoed, and I, started, and I discovered she had one of those label makers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I started labeling her house. And I was like, and then she came down. She's like, what are you doing? I said, oh, I was just labeling your china in your napkin drawer. And she just was like, what, what are you doing? It yeah. was just odd. That is like, no odd. one, that's not, that's a strange, I mean, I can see that some people will relax, relax that way, but you just, you know, it's weird to do it in someone else's home, probably, yeah. you know? Or your mother-in-law's home. Yeah. Well, that wasn't very you good. showed up early and you made a label for me that said host. And you put, a, <laughs> <laughs> put that right on well, your head. You know, it makes things very clear. Sure, yeah, clear and Everyone simple. Everyone knows their place. You stay over there. You stay there. Your <laughs> host, I am guest. We work this out. <laughs> Now, I want to talk about this movie. I saw this movie a couple of days ago, and it, it blew me away. I After mean, you had a baby, you went and saw a movie? And I actually oh saw this. God. This is, yeah, this is one of the last things I did before the baby oh, was born. Oh, that's great. I mean, I was sitting there with I'm my... I'm sure your wife was happy about that. Yeah, no, I, actually, <laughs> she, go, she came with me. I'll just be in labor. No, she came with me. She oh, wasn't cool. in labor yet. We came, we saw the movie, and then uh, that did it. Right. <laughs> She's like... <laughs> Whoa! It was that good. <laughs> the baby was like, there must be more films like this in the world. <laughs> Uh, no, uh, it, it really is an extraordinary film, yeah, and uh, really it. it's, it's, a, it's a great love story. Yeah. Johnny Cash, June Carter Cash, this is a, an amazing story, and what I didn't realize is you're, you sing in this movie, but when you, when you got the role, you didn't know that you were really going to be singing, is that right? No, I was a little bit uh, hoodwinked there. They told me I had this job, and I was going to do the acting part and play June Carter, and um, and then about two weeks after I signed all the contracts, they, they, the director called me up and he said, I want you to come to my house. And I came to his house and he said, sing a little something for me. <laughs> I was like, why? 
He said, well, oh, because I'm going to have you record all her tracks. And I just freaked out. Because right. I've never sung before professionally. And moreover than that, it was just, I have stage fright. Terrible right. stage fright. I sweat, my knees sweat, my ears sweat. When I see more than 20 people, <laughs> it makes me very nervous. Right, right. <laughs> Don't look over there. Okay. <laughs> There's no one there. It's a laugh track. <laughs> Get out. Um, <laughs> But you know what's funny is I mean I'm not just saying this you you you're you you're great you really you do a fantastic job you're a great singer and so it's a little hard for me to believe that you hadn't done it before how did you get to that point where you could sing like this um, well we practiced we did six months of voice lessons um, and then we uh, we recorded an album over six months but that was that was a long time to rehearse for a movie I mean we usually rehearse for a week mm -hmm. and. Um, I got to learn how to sing. Basically, this this man Roger Love taught me how to sing. And now you're a little uncomfortable because people, I understand, are coming up to you and saying you're a great singer, and you feel like, oh no, I'm not. I'm, you know. Yeah. Well, this morning I was on um, Good Morning America, and um, I was in the elevator with Garth Brooks, and there's like 12 people in the elevator, and there was Garth Brooks, and he's this big country music star. Right. And someone across the elevator, across Garth Brooks to me, goes, Reese, I heard you're a really good singer in the movie. <laughs> you're so good. Oh my gosh, I didn't know you could sing. And I keep looking at him, going, no, I can't, I, I can't sing. Yeah, yeah. I was so embarrassed. She's he's like, like, Oh, you tried to sing in this movie? I was like, Yeah, it just feels like I don't want Garth Brooks in the elevator when this is happening. Yeah. And then she's like, No, you're the best singer in the elevator. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> Not good. Not good. <laughs>